Hey guys, so today I am going to ask if Anthony Farrar, if there is anyone out there who can pay for a lawyer for him, because I think the public defender that he has, Erica, again, probably due to no fault of her own, uh, has basically a lot of case, you know, it, this is the same for any public defender in America, they often have a ton of cases. And because of that, she cannot focus on just Anthony's case. And the amount of preparation she would need would be pretty tremendous. So I don't really know. Um, I mean, this is the system that we have in place where you do deserve a speedy trial. But if your public defender is not ready because that individual is busy with other cases, then there's not nothing you can do. That's your public defender you're entitled to a lawyer, but if you cannot pay for a lawyer, then you have to be happy with the one assigned with you within some parametrics, right? Without that lawyer being really, really bad. So this is where Anthony is. He's sitting in jail, um, awaiting trial. The trial has to be pushed back, which isn't a good thing. Uh, this is definitely not a win for Anthony because this means without bail, he just gets to sit in jail for more time. And that's not fun. I mean, I don't think anyone is thinking that it's a fun time that, you know, hey, I want to, in my spare time, I just want to hang out in jail. Uh, nope. Um, for sure not. I think uh, in people's spare time, they want to spend time with their family, run their business, anything but just sit in jail. So uh, back to uh, the issue at hand, uh, I think something that uh, is really, really relevant today. Um, when you have a individual and he cannot afford his own defense attorney and he has to do a public defender you're really at the mercy of your public defender right uh you you, you don't give any dictation you can't really say i want this i mean they're going to be helpful to you but it's different than when you hire a criminal defense attorney so if you can afford a criminal defense attorney my advice is always you should hire a criminal defense attorney that's my opinions. Um, you know, whatever money you can throw at the case, throw at the case and see how far it goes. I do think Anthony will have to plea out. I mean, he's going to he's going to be sitting in jail until September. And while his public defender gets ready for trial and why not just, you know, plea out and then start serving your time and just kind of getting the sentence over with already. Is there advice? Is there, you know, the whole gray market is in shambles now. It truly is. Uh, I don't think any of them is making any good money right now. I don't think any of them is like they're from their YouTube channels. Their views are down. Everything is down. And what happened to all these, you know, Lamborghinis and Ferraris and what happened to all this stuff? Uh, who knows? Uh, who the blank knows, but it's no longer the style. It's no longer the cool to do it. I mean, look at Roman. Look at Roman's channel. It's, it's weird, right? Roman, this huge YouTuber, right? After Anthony left, uh, he made one video three weeks ago, and then he made two days ago, and it's got 15K views on 432,000 subs. Probably one of his worst performing videos. It's heavily photoshopped. I'm, the content has been dry. And none of them will talk about Anthony. If they talk about Anthony, their view count will blow up overnight. I think that's kind of interesting. Uh, here's crime piece. Uh, Roman Sharf sales people making just 2K a month with commission reduced to 8%. Look, man, it, it's tough out there. Uh, and he's posting this stuff and he's only got five comments. There's consignment from Alpha Crown still pushing the consignment. I mean, love it. Love to see that, right? Uh, to my knowledge, uh, there are still people who still have not been paid out from the robbery who had consignment pieces with them. 
which is unfortunate, of course. Um, you got Grand Caliber just tanking, you know, tanking, tanking. I read one, one of the comments, it's like, what are they doing? Why do they have to put the watches in the display? Right? So I thought Anthony's trial would be kind of a, a nice send-off, uh, but then it got delayed for multiple months, which is exactly what I expected. The trial came up really fast, like incredibly fast. There was no way that Erica could have prepped for this trial, given probably her caseload. Uh, and I didn't think he would plea out. Um, Anthony is not the type of person to say that he's guilty or that he's a scumbag, because that's basically what they would be asking him to do is, are you a scumbag? Take this plea. No, you're not scumbag. Okay. So, I don't know. Um, we have some coverage of Anthony. I'm sure the trial, if this does go to trial, it looks like it goes to trial. If it does not go to trial, then Anthony has just wasted everyone's time by not pleading early. And if he pleads later, his deal won't be as good. So, right now, they're setting to go to trial. That's the point. Uh, they're setting that there is some type of defense that Erica can find that uh, Anthony will prove that Anthony is innocent of the claims. And he does not deserve to go to jail for stealing consignment watches alleged by the FBI. The FBI is just chilling and they downloaded all the videos and the clips and the TikToks. And, I mean, it's a pretty much a closed case in my opinion. But we will see, right? We will see. Anyway, bye guys.